Hello guys and welcome back to Learning Tech It. In this episode we're gonna do a few things. Uh, first we're gonna make a tool which is gonna allow us to find expensive ores such as diamonds more easily, hopefully at least. And second uh, we're gonna make some pipes and engines that will automatically store the resources produced by our first machines. Uh, before we do any of that, first let's make ourselves a new weapon to protect against bad guys. Alright, so let's make an iron sword, and of course we don't have any iron on us. Let's see, no iron here. Refined, yes. Wow. It appears that I have. Oh no, there we go, we have some iron. Alright, so let's make an iron sword. And while we're at it, let's also make some uh, iron armor. Alright, some boots and some leggings. I guess we can make a body as well. There we go, we're all suited up. Now the next thing we need is to gather a whole bunch of wood because the device that's gonna help us discover ores uh, requires charcoal to power itself. So we'll need to gather the wood and then burn it in the furnace to obtain the charcoal. Alright, so let's get started. Wow, I'm sure I've gotten more wood before. How come I just got an achievement? Interesting. Some dirt. Okay, let's just fast forward through this bit. a bit over a stack of wood, that's great. Uh, let's stick it in furnaces and make the charcoal. And then whenever we go to the mine we'll just bring all this wood with us which will, which will allow us to just scan the walls of caves and determine if they have any valuable ores on the other end which can save us a whole lot of time mining. And it looks very similar to coal, but unfortunately the tool requires charcoal to receive its power. And now let's just have a piece of bread to refill our hunger and start making the tool. Alright, we will need some covalence dust and to make that we need a piece of charcoal and cobblestone. So we arrange the cobblestone like so and put a piece of charcoal in this corner and we get covalence dust. And to make the tool we put a stick in the middle and then surround that with the covalence dust. And that's our tool. And it's called the divining rod. Now the divining rod has several levels. This is the very first level. Second level is made with a second level of covalence dust which is produced by using 
I believe iron, but let's try to find iron. Maybe that'll work as well. No, that doesn't. Yeah, it requires a regular iron. So let's just take some of this iron dust, which we've produced. And, well, let's make another furnace. Get some more cobble. Make another furnace. I think the wires are stackable, of course. <laughs> Oops, accidentally used our tool. Right, and let's cook up some of this iron dust. Of course, I don't have any coal. Alright, let's put it in here. Boom. Excellent. Okay, let's get all this charcoal out. Two need more iron. Alright, uh, I guess we could start on the pipes. And we're gonna do the wooden wooden pipes. There are several types of pipes actually. Wooden pipes are used to pull materials or pump materials out of the equipment. And then stone and other material pipes can be used to move them further down. Uh, or there are electric conductive pipes which move electricity from one location to another. So we're going to start with wooden pipes. Let me just find the recipe. And let's do pipe. And there, wooden transport pipe. And we need glass and wood. And for cobblestone, glass and cobblestone. Alright, which means we need to cook up some sand. Well, we have three pieces. Okay, well, let's cook that up. And while we're at it, we got our iron. So just like with cobblestone, you arrange the iron like so. And you put the charcoal in this corner, or not. Maybe it is just four iron. Or the whole recipe is wrong. Yeah, this level one, this level two. I would just need one iron ingot. Of course, it wouldn't be that expensive. Okay. And oh, not coal. We want redstone. There you go. So that's the second level of covalence dust. And. To upgrade our rod, we just put the rod in the middle and again surround it with the covalence dust. And we get the second level of the rod. Now to get a third level, we need to actually use diamond to obtain level 3 covalence dust. If you look here, and diamond uses coal. Alright, so until we find diamond, we'll just stick with using this rod. Alright, and if we point it down, we can actually change the range, how far it'll scan, and depending on the range, it'll use a more or less of the fuel, which in this case is charcoal. And level 3 rod actually uses redstone dust instead of charcoal. So and if we right click, it'll scan 16 blocks down and when there are any valuable ores the EMC value will be higher. For diamond it's a couple of thousand. Actually let me just take a look. EMC of diamond is 8000 so the bigger the number the more valuable the ore is. We just have to watch out and scan every now and then to see if we have any valuables in the sides of the caves. Okay so that's that. Our sand must have cooked by now. Let's see where do we put it? I mean, there it is. Okay, so let's make a set of wooden pipes and a set of cobble pipes. Right, uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Right, I don't need this, I don't need that, that, that. All this dust, let's just leave it here, covalence dust. Alright, 
that's better. Okay, let's make a set of cobble pipes. Cobblestone pipes, like that. Sure, let's make two sets of those. Alright. Uh, now, to make the wooden pipe bring materials out of the device, we need to have it powered by an engine. And the simplest engine that we can have is a redstone engine. And to make that, first we need a piston. So let's make a piston real quick. Like so. And iron. And then we need some cogs. Two cogs to be exact. So to make cogs we do arrange the sticks like so. That gives us two cogs. And what else did we need? Let me look it up real quick. Uh, oh, some more glass. Okay, so we'll need to get more glass. And then wooden planks. Alright, uh, let's go dig some sand. Quickly, we had a whole bunch of it. Our beach. And somebody after us. Okay. Okay, one should be enough. It's a waste of coal. Cooking just one sand. But time is short. So we'll just do it with one. Okay, so now we have everything. So the redstone engine, redstone piston on the bottom. Two cogs on the sides, glass in the middle, and some wood on the top. And that gives us a redstone engine. And we also need to turn the redstone engine either on or off, so we'll need a le lever, lever, however you call it. That's made like this. Okay, and let's just dig a little hole here. This is all temporary, we're gonna move out of this location soon and then make everything nice and pretty so let's put the engine down and then we put a wooden pipe I guess interesting like so okay and we need to put a lever somewhere so let's just mm, yeah let's just put it in the back there and turn it on right away. There's my cobblestone. Okay, so engine. And as you can see it started powering off already. And our things are moving out. Which is probably not what we wanted at this point. Uh, but, okay, not a problem. Let's just make a chest real quick. Just an extra chest for our stuff temporarily. And I'll just put it above here. And if we put a pipe right here, all those iron dusts yes, are gonna move out to that chest. This way we can easily put 64 iron blocks in here and all of them are going to be converted instead of only half as this place can only hold 32 pieces of dust. Okay, let's just get this iron ore out. Manually stick it in there for now. And let's start grinding, grinding the other ores that we have. We're out of coal, of course. So... Our generator has stopped working. Let's just take the coal from these furnaces. Stick it in the generator for now. So that uh, our smelting can continue. Okay, so there we go. Where did I put all the bars? Oh, I put them here. Wrong, wrong, wrong. 
Okay, bars go in here. There we go. And redstone. I have last arrow. It's not good. I'm also running low on food. Right. Okay, wrench we're not gonna use in the mine, so we're gonna leave it here. And charcoal for detection. Yes. Tree tap we don't need. Copper cables can stay here as well. And we will need to take some wood with us down, down into the mine. Because I do want to find some diamonds now. I think the first thing we're gonna do is build a quarry, quarry so that we can have our a lot of resources mine automatically and move to our base of operations where they can be processed and then we'll go down into the mine to get some diamonds so that we can make better materials alright now this is gonna be the end of episode what is it seven and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed likes are always appreciated. Feel free to comment and subscribe. Bye now.